I'm an adjunct professor here at NYU at ITP, and I teach storytelling. And I could not be excited about the incredible potential of augmented reality, all of the immersive technologies. Right now, now, it's all a bit of a mystery, right? About how augmented reality is going to shape the world that we live in. I like what Kevin Kelly, the iconic co-founder of Wired, says, and I'm going to paraphrase, which is, immersive technologies work, and now we need to make them work better. I think a lot about augmented reality and content, being the storyteller that I am, and I think there's so many reasons why we think that augmented reality is going to be changing fundamentally. And I learned one more reason recently, this is a fun fact, which is, have any of you ever thought about how fast our brains process visuals, pictures, as opposed to how fast we process text? Anybody ever wondered that? I see some hands. Of course, I'm in a room of scientists. Is it, I don't know, 10 times faster? Mm, how about 100 times faster? Nope. 60,000 times faster, right? Okay, so like, what does that mean exactly? Well, according to scientists, some of them at MIT and other places, that means that in 13 milliseconds, 13, your brain identified this picture as the skyline of New York City. 13 milliseconds. That's far longer than it would have taken you to read and comprehend even maybe a sentence of my notes, right? And just imagine, what does that mean for augmented reality? Where, in many cases, we're going to be immersed in a headset or in a visor. What kind of impact are those visuals going to have on our brains? That's for another talk later. We'll let the scientists look into that. But I, I think about that a lot now, when I think about what augmented reality is about. It is about hardware and software that allows us to create and to view three-dimensional digital assets of just about anything. You want to go to the moon? I almost feel like I have a little bit with Microsoft and the HoloLens. I did that recently, sitting in someone's office. There are many ways that we're going to be using augmented reality. Perhaps some of you are obsessed with some of the digital overlays, the filters that we're using on real pictures. And I know many of you hardcore technologists in the room are going to say, that's not really AR. But I do buy the argument that some people make that it is conditioning lots of people with this idea that you can manipulate something real, even if it's that simple. And even on a more serious note, I was really glad to see that Metavise is going to be here later. But if you look in the middle, you see an augmented reality picture of somebody's spine. This, Meta, this is created by Metavise, which is a New York City startup co-founded by a brain surgeon, who I've heard say that he now has a tremendous amount of more information with that 3D imagery than he would ever have with the 2D medical images of day. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of thinking we want our doctors to have more information as opposed to less. That's pretty profound. We live in a very complicated world, and augmented reality is going to be and is a really potent tool. And Wall Street analysts, they take a look at this and say, look, that they transform into a multi-billion dollar industry in less than a decade. And there's so much that needs to happen before then, right? We need to figure out what kind of content is going to work. What is the perfect realization of what this technology allows? We're going to have to educate not only ourselves, but consumers and corporations as they seek ways to use this. And what does that mean for you and me? Well, number one, I would say that we should all be looking really hard, really, really, really hard at those teams of technologists who are working with content creators and storytellers. I spent years working in television, many, many years, and I've spent years in the startup space, working with entrepreneurs 
and invest a lot of it in these immersive, techno in these immersive technologies. And I am utterly obsessed with what this content is going to look like and what that impact will be. I see tremendous amount of opportunity. And I think about three questions a lot. I think about them, I talk about them, I read about them. And the first question is this, what kind of content are we going to be making? What is the perfect realization of this augmented reality technology, and what does that content look like? I'm going to run a bit of some video from Image Comic here, and it's called Faster Than Light. And I watch this, I've watched this many times, to be honest, and I think to myself, is this the future of books? Are we going to open the pages and things are going to magically appear before us? Is augmented reality going to inspire us to educate differently? Are we going to watch sports differently? Will it change entertainment? Technologists are making incredible technology. Incredible, unthinkable, maybe a decade, two, three ago. And now, what kind of content can we content creators make with that? I'm a content creator, and I care about journalism, media, and entertainment. And so I wonder, what about in journalism? Are we going to create digital assets that perhaps help us understand what's happening in Syria better? Will that happen? Will we report and then, therefore, understand differently the economy, politics, culture? I don't really know. And I'm not really sure who does, which brings me to my second question. Who's going to make this content? Who is going to be sitting at the table shaping the nature of the content that is created with augmented reality? Now I'm going to play some video from Aralyn AR, which is a really special Finnish company that I've been advising for some time. And we spend a lot of time asking ourselves, what is the story in augmented reality? Is it possible to create a narrative? And they've done something really critical, which is they have been collaborating across the spectrum of content creators and storytellers. And I say that very broadly to mean artists and policymakers and musicians, filmmakers and corporations. They're trying to understand what is going to be the tipping point that engages people. What is going to materially matter with augmented reality? I believe deeply that the best content is going to demand diverse collaborators across race, gender, and skill set, expertise, domain expertise, from architects to zoologists. And for that, we need a tremendous amount of experimentation, which is going to bring me to my third question. R&D money, research and development. While many tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent on developing the technology, and rightfully so, I would argue that we need big budgets on the content creation side also for content development. We must try and fail over and over and over and over again to create and identify what these best use cases are going to be. Content creators and storytellers need to be involved from the beginning. They need to be sitting at the table, batting around ideas, and giving technologists information about what will work best in the domain from which they come from to engage the users and readers and so on that they do. Who's going to pay for that? I don't know that either. I know a lot of incredibly talented content creators slash technologists who are beating the pavement, spending a lot of time trying to raise money to create <coughs> augmented reality experiences. Most tech, as we know, it has little meaning without content. Supreet, who is my researcher and video editor, says two things that always make me chuckle. One is augmented reality just makes everything come alive. And the second thing he says, is what would smartphones be without apps? Not too smart, right? They wouldn't be very smart. 
And augmented reality is not going to be too smart either unless we create stellar content. There is a bridge today that we need to build from this nascent technology to productization and commercialization. And I'm, I'm, urging all, I'm urging all of you to think about this, to consider deeply how important it is to look at, as you are, augmented reality and how it might align with your core businesses. And then to think real seriously about who's sitting at the table helping you develop what that augmented reality content might be. Because here's the thing, there's a fact in this room and in these two days and moving forward, somebody's going to win. There's going to be winners here. And the question is, or I should say, what I believe is, you are more likely to be winning if you consider content creators and storytellers as part of your core team moving forward. Thank you all.